right. So no, this, um, this is the outside of ClickFunnels, James. Yeah, well, it's the same, same, same one, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> same, James. It is. It is really. <laughs> and um, this this Ananda meeting geek is a new AI um, meeting person. Basically, it's a AI bot that helps you. It, uh, transcribes your meetings but also can take notes for you and highlights and get sentiment and i'm playing around with it it's interesting cool well, that's what i like about you james is that mm -hmm. you're a bit of a tech head and you know all the little you know systems that are out there and up to date and i don't know about all but i like playing with them <laughs> yeah like for me my, the biggest stress for me is like if even downloading an app like why I don't download an app is now I've got to learn how to use it. And that's a big that's a big insight. Um, why people like you wouldn't be the only one, yeah, like a hundred percent. Yeah, whereas kids, you know, they get on devices and they're so curious to understand how that device works that they just want to know. Whereas for me, I get stressed. I'm like, what if I press the wrong button and like, it, and if it doesn't work straight away, like I, like I start to get anxiety, I have to be really patient and my patience isn't for that. And that's a big thing like user, like development, yeah, like trying to make it so it's intuitive. So you can, so anyone, the idea of the, like, you know, building a ClickFunnels app, whatever, is to get the app and go like, just know what to do. Yeah. That's the, that's the perfect world. Very hard to achieve. <laughs> Yeah, and the person like yourself who's creating that app, but behind the scenes, it's so complicated because if you miss a code, like one little symbol or there's yeah. a space, it doesn't work. It can, can destroy everything. And then you've got to go hunting for where that little space is and, yeah, like it takes a certain person to want to go find it and the needle in the haystack. <laughs> that's, whereas that's, that's the role that I play. <laughs> yeah, whereas for me, my needle in the haystack is finding out from a nutritional or naturopathic perspective, you know, what's going wrong in that person's body and I'll just go hunting and, like, I'll do it for free effortlessly. I'll just, like, it's my jam. You'll dive, right? you'll dive into that, no problem. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I th thought to reach out to you because, like, I know that I can get the support from ClickFunnels and that's been awesome but still it's very time consuming and I'll continue to do that if need be but I guess the proposal would be like when and if like say I get this company Ashurst and it does roll out and my time is now focusing on the business not working on it but in it because working on it is really the tech side like getting online with you and figuring stuff out and spending hours fixing things and you know whatnot talking to Jen to help me or talking to you to help me that's takes a lot of time and it's I've had the time to do it but once things start taking off I'm, I don't want to put my attention into that like I I always want to know what's going on sure and so I'm still growing with all the developments but not where I have to worry about it i want someone just to go yeah donna it's done i've done this. this is how much it's cost we've needed to do this to make this happen this is the fastest way to you know do this i've done mm -hmm. it for for us and it becomes like a an us thing this there's an there's something in it for you because you're a part of it you don't need me to tell you to do it it's like you're a part of it so you want to do it because you want to see it grow in click funnels yeah there's a, it's kind of like there's a guy who's like the head of product but he doesn't know any code. He's the decision maker. So he'll come into a room and he'll have like a, he'll he'll listen to the problem for like a couple of minutes and then be like, I do that. Where everyone else has been discussing it for like an hour or two, like the tech and the ins and out. And he's just like, mm, that. And my, from a bigger perspective, like my husband's that in terms of the bigger, bigger picture, like the CEO, mm -hmm. Um, because I get really emotionally invested in my product and, you know, caring for the world and making a change and and giving so much time and effort where you're not getting any reward for it. It's just bleeding energy is just bleeding in a direction where it's wasted. Okay. And that's, he'll that's like my partner. She's like that as well. She just give and give and give, even though you may not get something in return. 
Yeah, whereas my husband's just like, why don't you just do that? That's a good point. I should have just done that. As a business owner, you need to be across it, sure, but you don't have to be, like, I, I'm quite okay with knowing my lane and doing that. Like, over the years when I've listened to you, I mean, you've given me so many, and it's all through click funnels. which for you, it's second nature, like it to give advice it's just like oh no you just do this you just do this it's, it's like me saying oh if you've got a digestive problem i'll oh, just take this just to take this you know and go you know go to bed at this time or whatever <laughs> it's it's like there's no stress to it it's just a no-brainer it's kind of like that's your lane and so i would trust you you know but what i've heard you say as well from a marketing perspective like click funnels has so many other things that I don't even use and I don't even want to open up the box because I don't even know how to, I don't, I don't have the energy. You're, you're like 2.0 like is, is, is like amazing, but like it's like ClickFunnels 1 was like this big, 2.0 is like can do everything under the sun like for running a business. It's insane. As soon as it starts rolling because there's other companies that are watching how yeah. this rollout goes. And then one of my husband's mm -hmm. other companies, BDO, they're waiting to see what this got, you know, how these guys feel, you know. But these 40 people of Ashurst, you know, already they're talking, as you know, about a global rollout. The conversation I had with you the other day about, oh, let's just stick the, the cookies on your whole website because if it's going overseas, you're going to need that anyway. Like, I wouldn't have even known that. You know, and I would have just thought that I could go to the other side of the world and just run the business as if I'm here. Mm -hmm. Like, so you're global. So I just think your skill set, yeah, is obviously like I like, and I've got to figure out also what you would want to do in terms of I don't want to assume anything. Like, what would feel right for you if you were to get involved? Like, what would you want to do as a as a role so you can do you you know you might not want to do certain things that i can get another person to do because what the thing is once the money starts coming in like i like obviously the way i see it is I, like i can't afford to put you on a salary and like the the mainstream way of doing things but how i'd like to be able to do it is let's just say like ashes if i got all three thousand people there's a there's there's a big chunk of money and if you and i got that together, you would get a percentage of all of that. Whereas if I got a company of 40 people, you would get a percentage of just 40 people. So there's not a lot from that 40 people. So you'd be inclined to want to get the bigger gigs because then there's a better percentage for you. So at some stage, I'm going to need a, a social mm. person, like probably more for LinkedIn. That's probably because it's more business. But in terms of writing the email to the company, saying here's the links, um you know for your team to to click on to make sure all the like the formal email that goes out so, and the wording. like basically create an onboarding system yeah. like so, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, so there's a systemized approach and you just grab that email and go like even like the sending of the proposal like let's say mm -hmm. we make up a proposal and we want to send that out who's the liaison um, with the organisational administration part of it, is that a natural thing for you to do or is that, like, say, a gen person? Because for me, I'm learning to do that. Like, obviously, for me, the, they want to know the owner of the business. So you build that rapport and they get the ethos and we sell it to them. They feel the energy and, y yep, okay, I'm going to get Jason to send you an email or, or, you know, if it was you, I'm going to send Jason to send you an email so you guys can talk about the onboarding process. And then there's that email and then, you know, there's the back and forth and then you send them the, this is what you need to do. Click, 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 click. You make sure it all works behind the scenes and that's your engagement with them. And if there's any tech issues, well, then it would come to you and you would go, oh, you know, you just need to do click, click. Yeah, if I was to get the person, that would be, like Jen didn't do the email side, the administration side. Jason did, but Jen did the digital behind this, the digital side. The mm -hmm. bits that you didn't help me with. So the amount, of, the amount of tests I did on the actual app that I created, and I was impressed with the design of the app. And essentially, I, my feed. So I got an inside man. Uh, <laughs> so the guy, a guy who's already got the job, he's part of because he's kind of doing the interviews with the other candidates because he's kind of doing the job and he's experienced or whatever. So he said their feedback he got from the meeting was, "I'm pretty much guaranteed." 
a, maybe that position or maybe they're going to steal me and put me on another position So because they like my design. They want to put me as a junior developer, not a junior tester, essentially. And how does that feel for you? Is that exciting? Yeah, that's, what I, that's what I wanted anyway. I wanted to be the uh, developer. Yeah, the, 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 the test is like a, the goal was like six months a tester and then move to six months a junior developer or a junior developer and then be a develop. The goal is to be a developer um, or have that title essentially. Chances, yeah, it was a good interview and yeah, chances are high of actually getting it, which is cool. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's been in five years, yeah. No, that's awesome. And so you, you can still develop your app yeah yeah definitely is, is that what you showed them that or is it something else no 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 so the the they gave us a project to create like a employee directory app so it's like and they had had to meet like you have to have an app with certain like you have to add an employee delete an employee uh edit an employee and then make it look nice and that was a general general brief so i did that and more and then yeah cool Over. Over delivered, so and it, it worked to my favor. <laughs> yeah, so you you doing your Uber thing? What 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 have you called that? Uh, spot my food. Spot my food. So yeah. and you've got a business partner for that too, don't you? Kind of, <laughs> not not officially. We're just helping each other build apps. So he's like, he's building his app, and I'm building mine, and we're helping each other do that, and we're looking into building other apps together so we're kind of going down the same path we're not officially business partners the hard work that's been done is what i've built mm -hmm. but also um when the when it rolls out the labor comes on me because obviously i'm doing all the consultations and you know building that rapport and there's only one me i've got another coach ready to go for if I get two companies at the same time, I don't want to say, oh, no, I'm not going to take on your 3,000 people because I've got these 3,000 people. Mm -hmm. That's 3,000 hours that I need to give in that really? company. Why? Yeah. Because remember when they um, they fill out a questionnaire through mm -hmm. type form and that questionnaire is what's your name, what company do you come from, what's your age, what's your position in the company, do you sleep, do you poo, what's your mood, do you practice mindfulness? Do you practice yoga on a level of one to ten? What's your energy? One out of ten. Do you drink coffee? How much coffee? Do you drink alcohol? How much alcohol? You know, are you used to exercising? Yes or no? What type of exercise? So I find out a lot about that. And then um, from that information, I'm trying to get measurable outcomes. So then I can measure their progress from the first week to the fifth week to the end of the program in terms of yeah. certain things like the measurable yeah. outcomes is mainly three things three or four things like what's so your energy why, why do you have, so why so many hours per thing because by the time they fill out that questionnaire um, mm -hmm. that comes through to me and then I send them a customized program and that customized program is basically saying um, I recommend you do A, B, C, D and follow the challenging program or the restorative program. It's it's a human connection. I would just from the sounds of it kind of automate some of it in the sense of you've got like 10 questions and in those 10 questions you got drop selections basically and from those selections you can create an outcome which automatically generates a, an, 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 basically an answer and then you can maybe tweak it so basically have something that generates a draft and you can tweak the draft and then and then and then sends it or have someone else tweak the draft because you shouldn't have to spend in my mind you shouldn't have to spend so long that's exactly right and that was our first like jason was saying this to me he's like because he's like a money guy he goes he goes i'm actually he's the first one to say it. he goes i'm money hungry he goes i'm really invested in making money we we need it to be automated and i'm like mm -hmm. he goes so when you get a company you need to get in front of all of them and do a seminar, just one hour seminar, and do it that way and say, okay, you guys follow the restorative and you guys follow the challenging and give them, you know, give it that way. But when I speak to Jen, she's just like, well, there are systems that you can implement where you can automate it. And, and that's, we're already talking about that, but I don't know how to make that happen. So mm -hmm. I guess that's where this could easily evolve to. But where it's at at the moment is they fill out that questionnaire. I've just done up a whole lot of templates where I can copy and paste and, and make it faster, but I've given myself 30 minutes to do that, just to come up with that 
customized program. I send it back to them and then I have a half hour meeting with them online. So that's why it's one hour per person. Yeah. And they also, so you need to, yeah, I would definitely group them. Say you get 10 people and they got similar results. I would group them like, so 10 at one, 10 to one, do one to many, like your time's too valuable unless they're paying, like maybe have that as an upsell. Like they, the premium, like some people want that one-on-one charge them more. Whereas have a group of 10, that's like 10 to one. So you're saving yourself 10 hours. <laughs> yeah. And corporately, I don't think they're going to care. Yeah. Like what they're interested in, Ashes, for example, is the product, not the service. Whereas for me, when I put it together, I was a service person because mm-hmm. I want the human connection. Um, whereas what they want is the product. They just want one to many, like tick the box. So you've got to roll with you know, obviously I want more because there's a bigger picture as well, James. Like, okay, so there's the system where there's corporates that come in and they do the program. They need some sort of human connection because what I really want is to be able to send them to retreats. And these retreats we're going to be developing all around the world and they're healing retreats. And it's a different Mm -hmm business that I'm involved in and I don't really know my involvement but I know I want to be a part of it but say you do my program or let's just say you're my client and you're wanting to do the 16-week program and here you and I are talking and you're really invested like yeah I want to do wellness and you tell me that you've just gone through divorce and that you're really fatigued and and I'm like listen you know what there's a place down the road I highly recommend that you go to it there's this water that you swim in it's like holy water anyway I'll sell it to you and you'll, you'll go there you'll come back and you'll just be like, Donna, that was the best thing that's ever happened to me. You've just saved my life. Like it's more than just a, a ticker box <clears throat> sort of program and put $330 per person in my pocket. Like it's not just that. It, it's mm-hmm. it's more about shifting the consciousness of the planet. Yeah, I, I, I can is, align with that. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. So this is just a, a, a program to funnel wealthy people into because they're corporates Mm-hmm. That are then healers are then going to help them to create this new earth, which is a conscious shift in humanity, which is what people are really looking for. They just don't know what's happening. That's the balance, I guess, you need to figure out because that connection you create, that trust, that relationship is where the real value is. But your time, you need to still have that. And that's like if you can learn from Russell, he does that. Like people connect, people are super fans of him, but they don't know him. And that's like the difference. He's doing one to many. And that's, I think, some a skill you're going to have to figure out, like how to go one to many and still develop that relationship so they feel connected to you. And then the high, people who pay a little bit more get that more, you know, they get closer to the guru in a sense. And you can still have that connection but not drag all your time with it because you can only do so much, yeah? Like literally there's going to be a point where you're like, I can't take on any more people. And if the, there's two ways, essentially hire more people to do that, which is then a management issue, issue. Or there's like do one to many. Like Russell's the only sales guy in ClickFunnels for like the first five years or whatever, yeah. And it's like, you know, $100 million company. So, yeah, it's like this balance of like still having that personal connection. And, and so also a way to do that, what I've seen is put them into groups, like I like so I'm part of a weekly commitment group and the conversation and we're all doing things but the conversations you have are just like they still get that connection and everyone grows and develops so that's sort of mean like you and I can come up with all these things that we can do to to create this business um but just so you know like whichever like percentage we come up with for your involvement it's not limited to the the actual 16 week program um, so what Marcello and I also have is in, in terms of giving more service and connection, this is the main product apart from the one hour that I give them for the program. Mm-hmm. But we also sell um, seminars. So obviously it's all online. We would prefer to see them in person, but let's just say it's online and in person. It's just filmed. However professional, however we come up with doing that. But in the past what we've done is it's online. Mm -hmm. And once a fortnight, we do a seminar on mindfulness. And this is the workplace cultural change. So the program has mindfulness in it, but it's got yoga and everything else in it. But the actual seminars is just 
mindfulness and everyone tunes in. They get a handout before the seminar and then we present the seminar and that's when they'll really feel us and, you know, like get more of a feel for what it is that we do. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's also where we go into the company and we sell ourselves for the day and that's where it's one-on-one. -on -one. So like Marcello, um, he was looking after Enablo. So Enablo works very closely with Facebook. So okay. and Asana and all those sort of techie companies. So Marcello um, was paid $3,000 a day and he had two days with this one company. And mm -hmm. he would literally talk to you for an hour, then talk to your colleague for an hour. Everyone in the company that was assigned, that was able, like was the, the main people, like senior management, and he would help them just keep their heads screwed on. And it wasn't just about work. It was like, <laughs> yeah. what's going on at home? And they're like, oh, I'm selling my house. And because Marcello is a business person, he understands development, business, mindfulness, chai chi, what, like you name it. He can go everywhere and anywhere with conversation. He can meet you and, and, and help you make sense of what's going on in your life and in your mind and how to communicate better with your manager or your staff. So people were just like, oh, my God, I need to talk to Marcello because he's different to talking to the boss or talking to yeah, you yeah. because Definitely. it's not work. It's it's a friend. It's a professional friend and it's confidential. And But but from a managerial point of view, the managers would go, oh, my God, we need this person to leave the company. They're toxic. So Marcello would know that and he would help that person leave because they're not being treated well. So he will actually help that person leave where they th thought it was their idea. <laughs> but the, the management wanted them out. But, but So he stops the company from getting sued from, you know, unfair dismissal and all the things that go with that because he's kind of like the medium. But he does it in a way that's not shady. It's almost yeah, like the person healthy. doesn't want to be there anyway. Mm. And then he helps them get another job from somebody that left six months ago that got a job and, you know, like it. it so Michello is like gold. So like your involvement in this is in that too. You know what I mean? Like it's in the proposals that we send out where we do retreats. Like we also run retreats, which is like or a half-day event or a three-day retreat or, or the, you know, one hour online for a seminar or the full day of coaching or there's the online program, like it's all of it. Like we need someone that's digital that can make all of this flow for us because we're not tech. Like when Marcello hops on a Zoom, I have to sit next to him, me, me. <laughs> I'm, I'm the tech guy. guy. I'm the tech guy. And, it, and it's like the blind leading the blind. I'm like, how come, how come the slideshow's not working? And you know how you go off into separate rooms and you do, you know, you get the whiteboard and all that sort of Breakout stuff. room, yeah. We don't know how to do any of that. So, like, Jason is our guy to go to to make sure that we're all fine and he's helped us with that in the past. I need I need someone who's available and I know you're on the other side of the world and you might not be as available, but mm -hmm. someone who can teach us all that sort of stuff and make it simple. So, yeah, so that's what we do. Like, there's services and then there's a product. The only product that we have is the 16 weeks but within that 16 weeks every two weeks they get a mindfulness session and then they they hopefully buy a day with us and mm -hmm. then they'll have a retreat within that 16 week program so there's a lot of engagement but from ashurst 20 of those 40 people are going to be do like one department or one yeah. part of a department because it's a, a trial as you know they're doing the coaching and the retreat and the seminars and the product, whereas the other 20 just want the product. And they're really just wanting the product, not the services. This is what they mm -hmm. want to tick the box. So they say, we've given all of our yeah. employees the program, we've ticked it. But what we want is to change the world and to then have a relationship where we can funnel them into these centres, which is another business. So that's the big picture. But at the moment, what we seem to be selling is the product. And so I have to think about making some money and we do need, the product's going to bring in a chunk of money. But at the moment, it's me doing all that work, 3,000 people, 3,000 hours, or I'll get another person to help me, I don't know. But at the moment, it's it, 
at the moment it's not 3,000 people at once. It's like 20 people a week until I get through that company. So they're, mm -hmm. they're all not coming rolling in at the same time. But if I get another company coming in at the same time, I'll just give them a completely different coach. So I'll sell them and you'll get them onboarded, but I'll have another coach look after that company and then another coach look after another company and we might do it like that um, or we'll change it up and do whatever suggestions, you know, we can if, do. Yeah, for my feeling, it needs to be a mix. Like you can you can do both because it's like, you, you still want to have that personal touch, which is 100% important, but it's also like there's only so many hours a person can do in the day and you can expand quicker if you do it with all, you know systems and one-to-many or even small, like just, you know, even if you just did two in a room versus one, that's halving your time, you know, your hours that you need to do the thing. So, yeah, there's definitely potential there. It's, yeah. yeah. A lot of things to go Yeah, through. and what that... that you know, when they fill out that questionnaire and I send them a, um, a customised program, like that's behind the scenes. Like if I can get a robot to do that, an automated system to do that, and then I just sort of like tweak it, that's 30 minutes of my time that's become five minutes of just overseeing it before it sends out. So that mm -hmm. way it's only 30 minutes, which is shared between however many people. So I mm -hmm. certainly see that happening very, very quickly. Um, if you and I can make that happen. Um, but, yeah, these are the sorts of things that that we, we can do if we pull our heads together and I, I can become flexible because I'm scared of change and, you know, I need someone to sort of settle me down and go, Donna, it's okay, you just press this button and it's going to work. And, you know, so that's where I just, like, I know that you know that stuff and it's just going to work. And if it doesn't work, you go, okay, I'll fix it. <laughs> and you're there to fix it. But but I forgot to tell you, there's one more um, product that we have. It's actually a product, not a service. Mm -hmm. And it's an app and it's, it's called the Fit for Life Challenge app. And so each person in the company gets this app when they get the 16-week program. Mm -hmm. And this app is um, where you get points. So it's cultivating team engagement. Mm -hmm. So those 40 people, for example, will all get the app um, and to fill out the, to send me through their wellness vision, which is one of the first steps that they have to do on the 16-week program, they get X amount of points if they do it. And mm -hmm. it, because I've found when I, in the past when I've sent out the 16-week program, some people, do, they just don't even get past week two. Like they just yeah. drop off. And I'm like, how's that looking good on me to sell it to another company? Like they all dropped off at week two. Great. Yeah, I got all the money, but I can't say it worked. Like to me, that's yes, not the point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I, I want them to do the program. So then I thought we need more engagement. Um, so this app is where, yeah, the person with the most points wins, but there's, um, there's tasks like grab one of your teammates. You can be in a different country even, different state. You don't have to do it together, but go for a walk together or get up on sunrise together and prove it through uploading a video and you get 10 points. So they're doing stuff together. Or if there's someone in the workplace that's fallen off the bandwagon, you know that they're no longer engaged in the program, grab them and go for a walk with them and and prove it and you'll get X amount of points. And at the, at the end of it, the person with the most points goes to the health retreat. Um, yeah, so there's all of that as well. Incentivizing. Yeah, so then they cultivate that energy. And then there's the automated emails that they get that I've set up through ClickFunnels where they get that every week. So hopefully with the automated emails, with the Fit for Life Challenge app, the, the mindfulness seminars every week, the coaching, <laughs> the, the retreats and the program, there's enough support for this to actually work through that 16 weeks of that company for them to want to send it off you know, for it to then spill off to other companies and other companies and other companies. So that's what Fit for Life is. Mm -hmm. um, then there's naturopathic consultations and things like that, but that's kind of a bit more separate um, to, because there's Fit for Life Mind, Body, Soul, which is Macholo's business. And then there's Fit for Life Wellness, which is my business. And the wellness side of it, side of it is what is the ClickFunnels 
16 week program. And then when we sell that, obviously we're selling all these other little packages. So that's all fit for life wellness. What Marcello mm-hmm. is, is um, he's a service. So he'll go into a company, like I said, and do a day or a couple mm-hmm. of days. And for him, he doesn't want to share his money. He's like, well, I got that company. So why would I share it with you and all of your partners, Donna? Like, it's my company. It's my company that I, like, for, for example, Ashurst, that's Marcello's client, Dan. Dan mm-hmm. has become the head guy of Ashurst, a global partner. Marcello has been training him for 20 years. He's wow. helped him to become the global partner through his coaching. Yeah, that's huge. And so he's just like, you owe me a percentage as an affiliate. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're actually doing it like that. So yeah. I yeah, have that yeah, if he brings a client, it's like a, a commission for you know, yeah. Bringing so a so we're going to makes... keep that, right? So he, yeah. he he's a businessman and he sees it like that. But if you, for example, James, was to bring us, which you included, um, a company, and you were to sell Marcello for two days, you would get a percentage of that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of how it all how it all works with the affiliates, and obviously we've spoken about that, and we need that all hooked up one day when it all you know floods, um, and then we do have um, a couple of affiliates already, but you know yeah. it, nothing's really come of that yet. They they are talking about it, but they can't seem to get people over the line. Um, but I'm not going to focus on them. I'm just focusing on Ashurst. I'm focusing on what we can do to to generate better marketing. And just getting this out there because the, the world's ready for it. Like as in mm-hmm. workplaces are up the creek. There's, if there's that much toxicity in workplaces. It's disgusting. And people mm-hmm. don't want to go to work anymore mm-hmm. unless there's better work conditions. So there's no better work conditions than actually being cared for by wellness people. Yeah, that's definitely a unique selling position if you get a job hey we've got a wellness team that's going to look after you huh what (laughs) it's really interesting because now on linkedin all these things are coming through they're looking for wellness people which is really weird because they they're looking for a manager like a hr people and culture manager which is a very Mm -hmm. much corporate person right Mm -hmm. But they're looking for that person who's also going to change the culture into wellness. Good luck finding that person. Yeah, that's interesting. (laughs) Because to be a guru in the wellness industry, you haven't spent years becoming a guru in HR. I mean, you can find that person, but experience-wise, it's it's kind of two different things. So when I'm seeing these, these ads come through, I'm thinking, what they're basically telling me is they're looking for a wellness program. They're just mm-hmm. hoping to find a person that can change the culture. Whereas I can change the culture. Just buy yeah. my program, roll it's it out. Definitely an app. It's definitely a separate two. Yeah, two separate things. Yeah, HR and changing the culture towards consciousness or health or whatever. It's very different skill set. <laughs> they ha- they haven't even figured that out yet. Like I went to Google and I went right to the top of Google and even Google wouldn't pay because mm-hmm. like my friend who, again, is one of Marcello's clients who he's been, you've got to go see, um, who he's been nurturing since she was 14 years old. Now she's the marketing, man, one of the marketing people in um, Google. So she mm-hmm. helped us get to the top guy. But they basically said to Emily, well, you've been training with Marcello for 20 years. You know enough about wellness. Why don't you just do it for Google? They wanted to cut costs. Yeah. It was Google, but that was before COVID, that conversation. And and that's like, so just that's a, a what do you call it? It's like, a, a you know, a, they're saying no. So it, it's like that's your, you, you know that's going to be like, a wall so like you need to come up with a counter response like for example here's how it saved costs like if everyone's more productive because we've got them feeling better so they're more positive like like and that person can focus on their thing like you kind of need to 
have essentially something that set, like proves these points. Like they're going to come up with all these resistance points and you need to have a webinar or a sales pitch which is like, yeah, we know, but here's what we can do because you want your person to focus on marketing, not focus on the health. Like that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but the, the good news is um, post-COVID, like Deloitte, um has done a global study actually i won't say global there's five different countries that he's gone into or him the company's gone into and he there's like over 2100 different participants that have engaged in the study um and there's the employers and then there's the employees and they went and done this study and asked different questions or the same question but they got completely mm -hmm. different answers and now there's this study to say that basically the the seniors or the management team are delusional thinking that their staff feel like they can come to them for yeah, talk totally. about their mental health. But meanwhile, these guys are sitting there going, I would never feel comfortable talking to you about my anxiety, my depression, yeah. and the fact that I've got no energy. Yeah, but they did it on all these different measurable outcomes and I've got the study. Because um, I've got, like the good news is I've got a lot of contacts and the, all these people have got all these amazing advices for me, but it's all these big boxes for me to dive into that I just haven't had time to do. And that's why I've needed business partners to go, I'll take that and mm -hmm. run with that because that's my expertise. Um, but mm -hmm. this one lady, she does um, workplace health and safety and um, she does safety. She doesn't do health, but yes. safety sells mm -hmm. because companies need to buy safety. It's a part of... There. Especially in Australia, it's huge. Safety is like nuts. <laughs> yeah, you've got to allocate X amount of dollars in your company for safety every year. So this mm -hmm. woman goes in and goes, well, what about the health bit? Like we do safety, but we want to do health. So she rolled out mindfulness with safety and Marcello worked with her and she's huge globally and she's giving me all these ideas because she loves the program but I'm like, oh, my God, she's just like too much information. I've got to do all this extra work. But she gave me that study. But that's the study that I've been looking for for years because other people that have given me advice as business coaches, they're like, you need studies and you need to do research because you're going to be challenged with all these, you know, barriers when you're talking to business people like what you just said. But now mm -hmm. I've actually got the study that's been done post-COVID. Mm -hmm. But um, I guess... Um, where financially, when I get money, you get money, basically. So mm -hmm. um, once once I have a, getting enough money to then kind of go, James, I, I need you because it's it's building and now, like, let's do this together. Like when I know I'm getting a check for 20 grand and I need work done, I'm going to go, it's time. But mm -hmm. at the moment, like, I, I kind of need to pocket as much money as I possibly can because I haven't been paid for a year so to speak. But I'm going to try and do as much as I can. But I, I, I'm thinking big enough and I'm hoping that Ashurst is on board that I've got these 3,000 people next year. So it, it could be, I'm hoping it's soon. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't want this to be a delayed thing. I want, But it doesn't, like if you and I were to get started and you wanted to start marketing it with your resources where we can start getting income from other areas rather than waiting on my contacts, well, then we could do that too. I think you should go away and have a think about it. Yeah, yeah um, just digest some stuff. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and then we'll get back together and go, I'll let you know what's happening with Asha, so I'll keep you in the loop. But for me, I'm really confident to work with you and I'd like to work mm -hmm. with you. Um, I just just want some work, <laughs> I guess. I just want yeah, you're, you're, you're like you're chopping at the heels of the work, yeah? It's like yeah. it's not it's, – it's definitely – it's almost there, which – which is exciting and you definitely the hardest bit is the connections yeah like making those connections is the hard that's marketing making connections building relationships and you've already got that so i would definitely keep massaging those relationships and yes. going that direction because it's um it's working um yeah all right well um we'll get to we'll, we'll catch up soon i guess our next meeting is, is when i hear from ashurst because i'm going to need you to help me with an email list um, yes. through click funnels um, but don't yep. go anywhere we'll stay in touch and um, yeah, so that that may change like literally if i get this job yeah i don't know what will happen because <laughs> essentially well yeah yeah we'll see 
because I, I'll be, I won't be in support. Basically, if I get this gig, I'm not in support. I'm, I'm literally building the software or the tests. So it's a different gig. So we'll see. Um, we'll just keep talking. Uh, you've got my personal. Yeah, well, that's now, the case, well then, you know, I'll have to contact you sooner rather than later anyway, because I'd rather you, you be involved in it from the beginning. Hmm? Yeah, it's just in terms of remuneration, like it just won't be very much until things track. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so we'll just you, keep talking. It's all fun. I'm I'm excited to see what you can do and what it, what can happen. And it sounds sounds good. Like it's 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 um, you know finding like minded people to go towards the direction you're going or doing. So that's definitely uh, we definitely kindred souls in that in that direction consciousness and health and all that definitely totally in on that bag wagon for sure yeah we'll throw some t-shirts in the side and hopefully you know like we'll just somehow feed off each other and help each other all right well i'll let you go thanks for your time um i'm pleased that you're feeling feeling the, the you know because you know to, to be on a conscious path you, you've got to be aligned you know like it's got to be more it's got to be more value than just money you know like yeah, yeah, that's definitely. how i see it like yeah i'm i financially i'm fine i don't need more money like that's not that's not a mo like a main motivator yeah like i can okay. yeah my plan my plans don't include like getting like money you need it but yeah I, i'm not definitely not like hey that's my main driver it's it's a thing that we need but it's not the fun of it <laughs> yeah Okay, well, however, um, let me know what your driver is so that way you can drive that so you've got real value in this because that's how I want to, you know, do business, conscious business. Sure. Well, yeah, I'll have to think about some things and get back to you next time we meet up, meet up and go from there. Sounds good, though. All right, James, cool. Yeah. I'll sleep well tonight. <laughs> <laughs> have a good evening and, yeah, we'll talk, talk soon. All right. See you, James. Gotcha.